So do you think MDMA therapy changed your life? There wouldn't be life without it. I would be dead. The mere fact that I'm still alive, I think is testament to uh, how miraculous the MDMA therapy has been for me. Uh, the, the, this latest news to me is really crushing. A major blow to psychedelic treatment advocates, a U.S. Food and Drug Administration advisory panel voted against the use of MDMA to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. According to this advisory committee, the risks outweigh the benefits. And from what I understand, they haven't even identified the risks. But I'll tell you what the real risks are. The risks are that every single day that you don't have some kind of therapy, more veterans will die. The pile of 150,000 dog tags represents the number of veteran suicides since 9-11. Enough is enough. Other veterans say MDMA helped them too. Also have a hand with those veterans that have gone through this therapy, that believe it has saved their lives. FDA, do your job. Take care of our veterans. The FDA advisory committee, they haven't seen the hurt, the damage, the broken families, the drug addiction. They can't have seen the homelessness. They can't have met us. Sorry. They can't have met us and then do something like that. I have discovered the things that I need to discover through MDMA therapy. The big, horrible things that my mind would not let me live with, I now live with, okay? And they can't kill me anymore. You know, I'm an old man now, but I'm still a hurt soldier in, in here. You know, to be able to hold that soldier and just hold him and say, it's going to be okay. That's the difference.